Hey folks, welcome to another App Store optimization session with Incipia. Today's topic is going to be taking you through the iOS 11 changes to the App Store, and most specifically, those that affect ASO. So when you open the App Store, you still start off in the Feature tab, but now it's been renamed to Today, and you can see all the apps that Apple wants to promote, different collections, App of the Day, Game of the Day, um, a very special editorial <coughs> or a story for an app that they really want to promote at the top. Um, getting featured is has always been important for driving downloads and visibility, but now it's even more important um, that now that you have the Featured tab and the Games and the Apps tab, where you can see more featured games and apps, more collections, and the top charts. So, tapping in at one thing to notice is that the top grossing is gone, so now we're just focusing on top free and top paid. And here's an example of what it looks like from the game section. If we go to the apps, you can see the same kind of experience. Oops. And the top charts only for applications, not games. You can change your category <clears throat> to narrow down and filter. So, for us, for ASOs, uh, really looking at the search results page and the product page and the changes um, around those areas is going to be important. So, now you see that the keywords are a bit bolder, everything is a bit bigger uh, in terms of size and, and attention grabbingness. Uh, there's still no visuals in the uh, trending searches, but Let's say we search for photo. <clears throat> so there are a few things to note in the search results page. One is that Apple is going to start sticking these um, these editorials into the search results, and these will either go above or below the search search ads results. Um, I believe it'll be above, uh, but you'll start to see more more extensions into the search results page as Apple starts to take more control over it, just as Google did with uh, Google.com after they started putting in knowledge graphs and other things like that in addition to organic results and paid results. And so another thing, another thing we can notice is that we have three screenshots instead of two now. So that's very, very important uh, because it means that you've got more opportunity to show off your app in the search results page search impression, however, all of your screenshots are smaller, and so your text, your visuals, everything needs to be uh, larger and more legible for people to understand actually what's happening without, ha without having to tap into your product page. In the screen recording here, everything looks a bit bigger, but on your phone, it's, it's pretty hard to read the pick collage captions. Make freestyle collages is pretty hard to make out in particular. <laughs> And so another thing you'll notice is that uh, the competitive or the other results take up more space. So now you'll see competitors, um, let's say even for a branded result, let's check Airbnb. You'll see, a, so there's a search ads result. Um, so you'll see that competitors on branded results or any kind of keywords will take up more of the space and have more of an opportunity to capture user's, user's attention. Um, so another thing that's very big in iOS 11 and perhaps one of the biggest changes for ASO is the autoplay of preview videos. And you can have up to three now. So let's find one that does have a video. So SeatGeek here has a video and you'll see that it begins to autoplay and it will autoplay through the completion of the video and if there if the second result Ticketmaster here has a video then as soon as SeatGeek's video stops playing Ticketmaster's video will also start to play and if we sit and stay on the screen then the videos will continuously loop back and forth between each of them in this case I believe that SeatGeek is the only app with a video and so after the video stops it will loop back around and start playing again and we'll see that here so let's find so game time has a video up and StubHub does as well so as you're scrolling through results you'll see that videos will start to autoplay even if you're not fully focusing on them 
So if we sat and wait for StubHub to finish, then Game Time's video would start to play, even though we couldn't see all of it. Um, so videos autoplaying in the search results is one huge thing, and that means that videos are now suddenly the best opportunity to optimize your uh, your store listing in the search results page, as well as the product page, and you can have up to three in your product page. So if you don't have a video yet, definitely consider getting one. Make sure that your screenshots are optimized for three uh, right in iOS 11. Make sure that your captions are large and legible, not just the captions, but uh, if you have any text inside of your app screenshots, make sure that that's legible as well. Your visuals lend themselves well to the smaller, um, smaller but more screenshots uh, area. So now that StubHub is finished or soon, we should start to see uh, game time. Oh, actually, yeah, so perhaps Apple's changed that behavior and will only start to play a video once the app is fully in, in range. So once we tap into a search result or into a product page, we'll see the video will autoplay here as well in a larger form. Um, and you can have up to three preview videos. And so if we have another, if SeatGeek had another, uh, the second spot would be a video and this third spot could be a video as well. So there's a lot of opportunity to tell the story of your app in iOS 11, uh, much more so than you could in iOS 10 or anything before. And we can turn the, the sound on and off. I'm using the microphone and the, the speakers from my computer so we can't hear it. Um, but that's one big thing to notice. And so we can go full screen as well. Another important thing to notice is that you see the top chart position of apps now in the product page. This is something that's brand new and it's going to affect your conversion rate very significantly. Um, in the Play Store, each app has a total download estimate, which is something that uh, helps to give users a sense of how popular an app is. Um, and in Apple, it used to be that your total ratings, your num, uh, your star rating, that was the best sense for how popular is this app, how good is this app. Now we can see the top chart rank specifically in the app, the product page, and that's going to tell users, is this a popular app? Should I download this? Or other, is, is there social proof behind it? Um, and so if your app is not in the top charts, then it's going to be uh, a negative factor. And if your app is in the top charts, even if it's at the, the bottom position, that will likely lead to a higher conversion rate than if it wasn't on the top charts at all. So using uh, acquisition campaigns to drive your downloads up is going to be even more of a factor, not just for uh, improving your algorithmic for uh, your algorithmic appeal and you know saying to Apple, we're a popular app, we have a lot of people downloading, but also in terms of conversion rate um, in iOS 11. And we can see if we look at perhaps Razor Gator. Here we can see that there is no top chart position. Um, while again, if we look at perhaps um, Vivid Seats, we see the top chart position again. So the top chart position will show the, the best position that you've got. So here Vivid Seats is ranked in entertainment. Um, but if we were to look at, let's see this, let's try Airbnb again. We can see that they're actually number 57 in the App Store overall. Um, and this is the App Store in the US. It's interesting that Apple doesn't specify this. Um, there's not a lot of room here, so perhaps that's the reason. They could include a country code, but um, Airbnb has the, the custom, custom background, and that's something that's new as well. Uh, Store Maven has a really good iOS 11, uh, what's changed side-by-side um, -side comparison, and they pointed out that the new branded background is a lot different than iOS 11. It's not as um, not as significant. You've got a banner up top and then uh, that's really about it. So scrolling on down to the rest, um, you've got the, the what's new actually that pops up here um, top. This is, this is a pretty interesting change. Uh, I believe that th this is because I have Airbnb installed and so if I'm looking at an app for the second time um, Apple prompts the, the what's changed in the latest update for me higher than if this was 
if I didn't have an Airbnb installed. Uh, and we can probably see for VRBO that what's new doesn't appear until down here. So then you have the the promo text, and that's 170 characters that will appear here right above, right below the screenshots and above the developer name. And of course, you can expand out. The promo text can be changed between updates just like the description used to be, but now the description will be locked between updates. So you have to submit a new update to, to get there. Um, you will, your star ratings won't automatically reset. You'll have the opportunity to reset them if and when you like. You've got the description, the developer here, you can see everything else. And now Apple's broken it out into uh, a nicer layout and the latest release of the entire developer portfolio, which is nice. Reviews have changed pretty significantly. A um, lot larger, a lot uh, more focus on each individual rating or review. And then, then what's new and We've got the related, and you may also, uh, more from the developer, and you may also like the related down here as well. So one thing that isn't pictured here um, that will be happening in in iOS 11 is that, I'm trying to hit this X up here, um, let's see, it's a good example, it's... In-app purchases will show in the, uh, well, Monument Valley is not. In-app purchases will show in the uh, product page now. And you can promote up to, or you can show up to 20 in-app purchases with an icon, with um, with a, a name and a description. And these should also be indexed in the search results. So this is, if this is true, and, and it, if it means that in-app purchases will appear when you search for keywords um, in the search results page, this is, this is massive. This means that there's a shift in the way that people are discovering apps from just um, looking for an app or seeing an app in response to their keyword query to now having a feature of an app or many features of an app able to do the work of discovery for that app. So I'm looking for uh, <laughs> let's see, I'm looking for a car, well, kind of hard to, to come up with something on the fly, but uh, let's follow the lead of, of this. So I'm looking for a word puzzle, and you know, you may, we'll have games that pop up that have word puzzle um, in their keywords field, but now you may have an in-app purchase that's uh, specifically for word puzzle it that was not a great example I admit uh, trying to do this on the fly but if this is true again it's a paradigm shift in the way that people are discovering apps from discover the app then find the features to look for the feature that you want and find the app that best fits that feature so that's that's pretty massive um, And it also seems to be a bit slower to load the rest of the product page now, which is uh, pretty interesting. So another thing that you'll see is for some apps that are more popular, like, for example, Facebook, you'll see their developer page pop up here. So developer Facebook Inc. Um, these are the apps that they have. Um, but you'll start to see, again, more more additional pieces of content and results other than apps themselves appear in the search results. And that's uh, a pretty big shift in the way that the search results page has worked. It's not just, again, it's following the lead of other products like uh, Google, where they've started off with one you know, very specific uh, use case for uh, their search engine, their search results page. It's here, we'll find you the best results for your keywords. Now, we're trying to predict what it is that you're looking for and give you additional information and, and add to your experience by um, sticking more things into the search results page uh, to help you or to push our apps and our products from Apple's perspective. So to recap, uh, the biggest changes for iOS 11 will be the autoplay of videos in the um, 
product page or the search results page, uh, the move from two screenshots to three, three screenshots, um, the increase or the, the larger importance on in-app purchases, uh, both as a way to convert users in your page where you're looking and you'll see icon, name, um, description of up to 20 in-app purchases, and they will also likely show up in the search results page, as well as this uh, top chart um, data point that shows up here in the product page. Um, oh, and I didn't even comment on the subtitle. So the subtitle is going to be right under your um, developer name. Let me see if I can find one with a good subtitle. The subtitle is your app name will now be limited to 30 characters. Your subtitle will be, and Apple has these awful car category pictures uh, that are really stretched out, uh, strange images. So here's an example. So your your name will be maximum 30 characters. Your subtitle will be maximum 30, uh, 30 characters as well, meaning you have 60 characters overall for your, your new title. Uh, your keywords field, 100 characters. And then your in-app purchases. Um, we know that those have already been uh, indexing in terms of exact match, but it's possible that Apple will now allow you to index um, partial words from your in-app purchase names, but the promo text will not be indexed, the description should not be indexed by all intents and purposes. So you do have more data, metadata to work with in terms of keywords, um, but the subtitle looks like um, will take the place of the top chart of the, the, cate or sorry, the category of an app, and you can see Pic Collage has education as its category but Photolab has a subtitle set here. Magic transformations in a um, cutoff. Doesn't look like there's... Instasize looks like they have a subtitle as well. So that's an additional opportunity, not just for keywords, but for um, conversion rate, getting people to understand what your app is all about. But just like the title, you want to make sure that uh, it's either not truncated or the most important words and phrases and, and comments are located at the front end of the subtitle. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned for more videos from Incipia and uh, for lots more insights and best practices into how to optimize your app for the new uh, iOS 11 experience. Incipia and um, mobile UA firm in Germany Berlin uh, feature are going to be, or we're working on an ebook, uh, the Advanced App Store Optimization book, where we've got over 300 pages thus far of how to do App Store optimization, both for Google Play and iOS. And we're really going to be um, focusing on iOS 11 to help you understand what the changes are prior to launch, as well as how to optimize once iOS 11 has launched uh, for these these new changes. So. Uh, go to asostack.com and you'll be able to sign up for the book or we'll, Incipia will keep you posted. Um, follow along with our social and check out our blog, incipia.co slash blog, and, uh, or incipia.co slash posts, I believe. Sign up, for our, sign up for our newsletter. We send it out on a weekly basis with good articles from across the web, as well as anything that we've published, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching.